please don't let the people in spe with special needs down because uh, they need help. Marie Ismay is at wit's end, pleading for help and calling on the Quebec government to act now to help her 18-year-old autistic son get access to the education he deserves. Very emotional because I feel like I'm once again um, let, been let down. City News brought you the story of Brandon Lee Paris in April. Ismay says her son was being discriminated against due to the color of his skin after he was expelled from his special needs school north of Montreal when he was 14 years old because she says the school deemed him a safety risk, an assessment his mother said the teen's doctors disagree with. Last month, he ran away twice from a rehabilitation center. His mom had placed him in four days a week. They called police and the young man was tased. He was subsequently kicked out of the center. And then uh, was, um, I find, like, double victim because of the event. Um, La Myriad, uh, the day center that Brendan was uh, going four days a week, um, called me and told me that uh, Brandon wasn't going to be able to go back um, to the day center. So right now, Brandon is home 24-7 and he has no uh, services to help him. She feels her son is regressing as a result. And when he started to go to the day center, um, they, come to pick, they came to pick him up every day. He was really happy to go there. And even then, they were saying how pro like how surprised that they were about his progress. Like they were even thinking about having a teacher going there, and they were really thinking about him going back to school. So um, the difference between like a few months ago when he was going there and now, I don't know. Like you can't talk really, but I feel like he's more like uh, depressed. He's asking a lot of. Uh, to go places like um so i just see him going like down right now city news reached out to the quebec minister of education bernard drainville for comment but did not hear back in time for broadcast there must be some place in in quebec and the entire province or the nearby that have like a facility that's uh, safe for my son so I really hope for a Christmas miracle. In Montreal, Brittany Enriquez, City News.